Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel and happy Monday. Well, it's Monday for me, but hope you're having a great week so far, whatever day it is. It's probably Tuesday, but who knows? Um, today's video hopefully is exciting and hopefully gives more clarity around what me and Sebastian do, um, what I do all day, how we've done it, um, all of that basically. So I talked about how Mondays for me are always my big content creation days. It's where I film a ton of videos, film reels, take photos, create graphics, all of that stuff. Because the way that me and Sebastian like to run our business and what we do for clients is we teach people how to create like batch content basically. Because if you've ever heard someone who's like successful on social media, they always say you have to be consistent, post every single day, post five times a day, post whatever you decide, you have to stick with that schedule and be consistent. And that's always great advice, but they never really expand on how to do that because I've tried to be consistent on social media where every single day I'll just figure out what I need to post. I'll just get around to it on tomorrow. I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. And then something comes up, I don't figure it out. Um, you know, things happen and then I decide, oh, I won't post today. And then my consistency is off. So it's always about planning. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today um, and take you guys in through my process of how I do that. Um, it's been so helpful for me and Sebastian to be able to grow our accounts. And this, again, is what we help our clients with. So I think you guys will benefit from it. If you're someone who wants to start a YouTube channel or a blog or just grow your Instagram, I think that this will be really helpful and exciting for you to see. So if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you here for the next video. So subscribe if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll dive right into it. So recently, I think like right when I first quit my full-time job to um, work full-time with Sebastian in this business, um, I made a video, it's kind of like day in the life of a brand manager, I think. And I still to this day <laughs> get comments how I do that, how, what did I graduate with, what's my bachelor's degree, I mean so many questions. That's probably the video I get the most like real questions about what we do basically. And it's kind of the only video, I'd have to go rewatch it, I'm not sure what I showed in it, but I don't know how like great it was at showing like what I do every day. So I thought that I would do another video deep diving into that and answering some of your guys' questions that I see all the time on that video. So if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, me and my husband started a social media marketing agency. He started it last year in November and then I joined him full time last June. Um, so June 2020. So 2020 was a crazy year. It was a crazier year to start a business. but. We really just felt like it was the right move for us and it was the right time. We're super young. We have a great living situation that benefits us to be able to take these kinds of risks. Um, we paid off all of our debt before we both did this. Um, what else? We don't have kids. Like it was just, if we were going to make this huge risky move, it had to be now basically, but six months ago. Eight months ago? I don't know how long. <laughs> June, basically. So I quit my full-time job, joined Sebastian, and basically what we do, we do an array of things, um, but essentially what it comes down to is we help business owners create their presence online, whether they want to up their content creation, whether they just want us to fully take over, um, whether they just want training sessions. Like we do a lot of various things um, and Sebastian kind of runs all of that. But what I do is what we like to call the brand manager of Spread Social. So a lot of different companies have various like degrees of what a brand manager is. You could be someone who runs all of the marketing. You could be someone who just runs kind of social media stuff. You could be somebody who, like we've seen in the last eight to nine years, um, a brand manager helping an influencer get brand partnerships, create contracts, manage kind of that sort of thing. So there's lots of different things that are like a brand manager. And another big question that I get on that video is what did I go to school for? How did they get this job? <laughs> and it always makes me laugh because I did not go to school for this. I did one semester at a community college here in Salt Lake City and I just did like generals and then I don't even think I really went to all my classes because at the time I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't feel like attached to anything. I always felt like lost and uninspired. And so I decided, you know what, I'm not going to 
not waste my money because I totally believe in education, um, but I just knew that the college route just wasn't for me. So I decided to not continue. And so I don't really know what you would take to, I mean, I'm sure it'd be like marketing, like business marketing is probably what you would take to have this sort of role, but I'm not here <laughs> to give you that guidance because that's not the path that I took. Basically how I got like super into social media is I just applied for an entry level job at a tech company and I was basically just a social media specialist. So I was just, essentially it was like a help center but on Facebook and Instagram. So like reply to comments, um, respond to DMs, like all that stuff. So it wasn't anything like creative. And that's where I started to kind of get that excitement of like, oh, it would be fun to create great content and maybe have a little bit more like insight of what's kind of going on. And um, just the way that that job kind of was, it, it really wasn't in the cards for me to like continue there to like build up that sort of, um, I don't know, go through the pipeline sort of thing. It was just kind of always my idea of like, oh, okay, I would love to do that one day, but it doesn't feel like I want to build up in this company, basically. Um, and at the same time, Sebastian was a social media manager at a company as well, and he was kind of having the same idea. He was definitely more involved in the content creation um, department and kind of got a lot of experience in that and then he realized that he could totally do this on his own he made great connections through that company to maybe help some business owners um, create their presence online and, and so that made him quit his job and start this business and then later on as things were picking up for us as clients were coming to us it kind of was like the right time for me to also make that jump and start full-time so that's why we call me <laughs> the brand manager so what that means for me and my role here at Spread Social is I do a lot of different things, like a lot. We wear a lot of different hats. Um, when you're building a business, it is like insane the amount of multitasking you do and just like new things that pop up that you have to figure out how to do. So I feel like me and Sebastian work really well in that. We can both kind of, I don't know, take things on and divide the things. But one of my main things is um, managing our social media accounts. So I manage our Facebook group. We have a Facebook group for solopreneurs or business owners to learn marketing hacks. And it's just kind of a nice way to get like free education, connect with other people that want to learn and grow on social media. We do live trainings and yeah, just a lot of fun things. Sebastian hops on there and gives like little tidbits and knowledge. So it's a lot of fun and being able to grow that account takes a lot of work. And so a lot of what I do with that is, you know, welcome a new member find new members to join the group, create the content for that, make sure that Sebastian knows on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, he needs to film these sort of videos to help out the group, or we have this training coming up, or we should do this training soon. Like a lot of that goes into the Facebook group. And then as well as that, we just launched our spread social Instagram page. So I'll leave it down below if you'd like to follow us. Um, but again, it's just another extension of our knowledge of our business tips, Instagram tips, all of those things. Um, because we really were trying to build out our personal brands. So Sebastian's Instagram and my Instagram. And then we kind of came to the realization as things are growing for us, we definitely want to have spread social have its own little Instagram. So I've been running that. And again, it's the same thing. Um, you know, everyday kind of strategic engagement things to help grow the account, connect us with other businesses like us um, and get us into that community and then creating content for that, responding to comments, all of those things. And then we also have a TikTok, but TikTok is just kind of like fun. <laughs> so anyway, that's kind of what I do as a brand manager. Again, there's a lot of like different extensions. This also applies to our clients as well. So like I mentioned before, we do full takeovers on your Instagram. So that process kind of involves both me and Sebastian. We you know combined our brains to come up with a full content plan for our client we help them with video ideas pictures ideas we create graphics for them we edit all these videos whether they want to do just Instagram or YouTube um, and then every single day we post for them we create captions for them I mean it's just like <laughs> anything and everything that is kind of our full on um, takeover kind of package. I don't know, really know what you want to call it. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it's a lot. 
it's a lot. It's basically just a lot of content creation. That's just like what I do. But then aside from that, we do have video editors that help us and a graphic designer because let's be real, I'm not really great <laughs> at graphic design and I'm not like a true video editor. I do my own, which I'm happy with, but for like clients and like business things, it just makes sense to hire professionals. <laughs> so um, hopefully that kind of answers some of the questions. Me and Sebastian totally believe in that you can do anything you set your mind to and honestly there isn't anything that should limit you whether you went to school or not if you didn't go to school but you want a job like this maybe find ways to intern or gain this experience or just try and apply for these jobs I mean the jobs that me and Sebastian had he had never been a social media manager before um, but took on that challenge and it does take a lot of work I'm not saying that any job doesn't need a degree because that definitely isn't true. But for a lot of jobs, you'd be surprised at what connections and experience can get you. And so I feel very comfortable in the fact that I made that decision early on to not continue school, but I am doing my dream job and we are building our dream business and it's been so rewarding, so crazy and hectic, um, but a lot of fun. So if you have any other like general questions, um, leave them down in the comments. I would love to continue to, I don't know, share an insight into how we got here and just help answer any other questions you have because I'm not really sure. But that was like the main one was what did I go to school for? And I didn't. <laughs> um, so that brings us to what I kind of wanted the video to be about, which is how to batch create your content. So this is going to basically just apply to like Instagram, you could do this for YouTube, you could do this for TikTok, you could do this for anything. Um, but what I'm doing this for today specifically is Instagram. So on our Spread Social Instagram account, we've decided to post six times, is it six? Five times a week. <laughs> I'm like, I couldn't remember. Monday through Friday. So the first step is to decide how many days you want to post, whether that's four times a week, three times a week, six times a week, whatever it is, I would just pick a day and stick with it and do something pretty realistic. Because this Instagram account is a more like business Instagram account, we wanted it to definitely be Monday through Friday. Um, so that's five posts a week. So then the next step with that, once you know how many times you want to post in a week, the next step is to figure out what kind of posts are they're going to be. Do you just want your account to be pictures? Do you want to implement reels and fun videos? Do you want to implement graphics and fun quotes? Um, I would just like spread it on a sheet of paper and say out of those five days of the week, I want two of them to be pictures, two to be a graphic, and one to be a reel, or whatever. Um, that way you can kind of schedule out ahead of time what you need to create. I find that this step really helps me because if I were just to say, oh, I have to create five posts a week, like then I'm trying to think every single Monday, wait, what am I gonna post this week? What are the, what is my grid gonna look like? If I know I need to have two pictures out of the way, boom, done. Then I can do my three reels, done. Then I have my five posts, you know? So it just kind of helps keep you on track um, and organized because being organized is going to be the thing that just keeps you going and keeps you motivated. If you are every day waking up stressed about what you're gonna post and what you're gonna share, you are just gonna get burnt out and lost. And not to say that you won't get burnt out throughout this process, because that does happen. Whenever you work in like a creative field or a creative job, there's going to be burnout. I mean, in any job, there's gonna be burnout and you're gonna have to kind of take some time to step away from your desk or from wherever it is that you create and give you some time to come up with new ideas or find accounts that you're inspired by and all of those things. So that brings me to step number three, which is to create the content, which is where we are today. So I like to do this on a Monday. If you have a traditional, maybe corporate job and you're kind of trying to build out your side hustle or whatever it is, maybe this day of creation is on a weekend for you, which doesn't always sound fun, but if you're trying to create your dream life, as cheesy as that sounds, um, it is gonna take some sacrifices and if a Saturday afternoon is that sacrifice, I'm telling you, it's worth it. So for me, like I mentioned, I decided that Mondays are gonna be my content creation days so I wake up early I get all dressed and I always have the um, five posts that I need to create sometimes I like to do two weeks in advance so I'll have like ten posts that I want to create for that day it doesn't always happen <laughs> but 
at least I kind of have a goal in mind. Um, so there's a couple ways that you can sort of organize your content so that you know what you're creating that day. You could write it on a list on your phone. You could write it on a list of paper. Um, but what I like to do is I like to use a project management tool called Asana. Asana is a little bit more of like an upstep from a Trello board. If you guys are familiar with project management tools, maybe you've heard of these, but I would recommend Trello. I'll leave it down below. It's a free um, tool to you to use and I will include like a screen recording of what I'm doing so you can kind of see but basically I have a board of ideas and so I have real ideas quote ideas other post ideas um, that one is just kind of like a brain dump because I think it's important to have somewhere that is like a brain dump me and Sebastian are like ugh, notorious for like falling asleep for not being able to fall asleep because we're like creating <laughs> things in our head so Sebastian has a notebook next to him on his nightstand I have my phone um, always next to me so I always just have like my notes and in the middle of the night I'll just like write <laughs> random things um, so it's important to have some sort of like a brain dump but it's also important to have like those categories of the content you're creating so that again you stay organized um, and so yeah pretty much every day I will add to these lists um, some ideas are great some ideas are not it's just important to put any idea down um, because you can always kind of tweak it to make it better but the hardest part is just like getting your ideas out there um, so I have them on the board and then what I do is I go into more of a calendar view and that way I organize it um, based on the grid that I created earlier in, in step two so knowing how many pictures I need how many graphics how many videos all of that and then I can look at this calendar in kind of a two-week um, time frame and see what I need to create for that day so once I'm done doing that, then what I like to do is write the videos and reels that I need to film for the day. So just like I have here. And then once you have your ideas on your paper, then you just get to filming. And so just to kind of quickly breeze through kind of like our filming setup, of course I have like great cameras for my YouTube videos, but when I do anything for Instagram, I actually just use my phone camera. So for reels and TikToks, I use just my phone to film and then I edit right in the apps. I feel like that's the best way to create native content for your audience to consume and enjoy. It just makes it easier Easier. sometimes if we see like these highly edited highly filmed reels it doesn't feel like it fits sometimes and so it's important to have native content that's going to resonate with your audience and so I really love just editing our videos on TikTok or Instagram and we have just found that that works best for us and it makes it so easy so that's how I film reels and stuff as far as graphics or quotes or anything like that or carousels go we use canva it is like our little baby i love canva so much that's how i create my youtube thumbnails as well and also like my little intros and outros and stuff like that um so i will have a link to canva down below there's a free version and a pro version we have pro just because we have a lot of like other people using it and it just makes sense for our business but you can do so much with the free version that's what we did for so many years um so i'll I'll leave that down below it's like the best thing ever it's so user friendly it's just like the easiest and best tool ever to create anything I mean you can create fun invitations and fun like banners for your YouTube channel and stuff like that so if you're someone that's wanting to kind of up your content creation or your YouTube channel or anything like that I would definitely play around with Canva to create sort of like a brand guide for yourself and have like specific colors that you use and fun like templates and all of that stuff I mean there's just it's like a black hole of creation there's just so many fun things to do and create on there and I'm telling you if I can use it then anyone can use it it is so user-friendly like I said and one last thing that I would recommend as well is on the days that you create your content I would schedule time to then edit if that's like a video or pictures or if you're creating graphics then that's hopefully already done for you but for pictures and videos um, I would definitely recommend editing them on the same day just because just because the video or the reel is filmed doesn't mean that it's gonna make it up on time because there have been <laughs> several times where I have a video done filmed but then I take forever to edit it and then I don't get to post it within my posting window or whatever um, so I would just make it easy on yourself you're already almost halfway done so just finish out whatever project you need to and then that 
that way you can move things around as well so if you're not feeling like posting that reel today you have another one ready to go um, and that just helps with like I don't know just being prepared in any like emergencies that come up or things that may change and yeah that's just kind of what I found to be helpful for me and Sebastian hopefully this video was helpful and enjoyable I don't I didn't really have a plan for this video I genuinely just turned on the camera and started talking um, hopefully kind of seeing the little overlays of how I organize my content helps you out um, I'll have everything linked down below again be sure to leave any questions that you have if you want to see more like vlog style of how I do this I'm definitely willing to share that with you guys I love being able to share this unique position that I have because it's something that I've thought about for a really long time how do people make money online how do people have their own business how does it I don't know how does it even work I think like this is a job that we've definitely created for ourselves but has just been thriving and we see a lot of people doing this if you want a job in social media it's out there a lot of people you know invest in social media know the importance of it and a lot of them don't really want to take the time to learn to do this so if you're willing and excited about social media there are so many opportunities for you to help other people do it as well so yeah hopefully this video made sense and if it didn't definitely leave some questions down in the comments below I'm gonna now get back to my content creation I hope that you guys do the same after this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new I'd love to have you here for the next video and I will see you guys right here in a brand new video really soon bye